Hey guys, Dakota here, and today I wanted to share with you my fall essentials. Now in Arizona, fall is a pretty transitional period. We don't get too harsh of weather. It doesn't get very cold. It doesn't snow at this time of year. So I know a lot of you guys, and particularly the East Coast or in different countries, are already facing snow and other conditions that are a lot more rugged than what I'm facing. My pieces are a lot of mid layers and transitional type of light coats and things like that. Like that. These pieces aren't as heavy duty as some people might expect. You don't really need a lot of protection outside of wind protection and a little bit of warmth because it gets into the 50s or so during the day and maybe a little bit colder at night. To start off, I'm going to showcase probably the weirdest piece because this thing you can't necessarily wear unless it's the right conditions like I said if it's windy or cold and that is a balaclava and the only reason why I say you want to wear these in the right conditions is out here in the west there's not too many people that wear balaclavas unless it's pretty cold and they're going on a run or something like that it's very common in the East Coast when I was living in New York City, I would wear it a lot and I wouldn't get weird looks, but I think that you could get a lot of weird looks because it might look like you're going to rob something, but it is really, really nice at keeping your face and neck warm during this transitional period and it's awesome for going on hikes or walks in Arizona in the valley, whether you're going in the evening or early morning when it's pretty chilly during this time of year. This is just something that is a pretty good accessory piece. This next piece I have is a really good mid layer for keeping you warm when it's pretty chilly, but it doesn't provide any protection beyond that. But it's also super comfortable and good to lounge around in or go walking around the town or whatever your activities are. And that is this knitted Stone Island zip up. I like to wear it a lot. I think it keeps me the perfect amount of warmth here in Arizona and it's really easy to layer and style with all kinds of clothes because it's black and simple and knitted fabric is really great for the fall i think i think wearing sweaters and things like that that are knitted are very comfortable and preferable over the sweatshirt type of tops i would rather have a knitted top or a hoodie than a sweatshirt honestly but like i said pretty basic Looks great with most outfits, perfect for the fall. This third piece is another type of mid-layer top type of thing and it is this windbreaker bomber that I have and it is lightly water resistant, it's pretty wind resistant, it's very comfortable, I think it's pretty stylish and it looks good with most fits just like the Stone Island knitted zip up. It has buttons on it and internal and external pockets so it's pretty good for keeping extra items like your keys or phone close to you while also keeping yourself warm and not too chilly from the wind. I also just really like the cut and style of it and and I was actually able to find this at a thrift store for pretty cheap, so it's a pretty good find. I've been using it for a few years. The final top that I have as one of my fall essentials is this Gap Green Anorak. This also protects from the wind and lightly from the rain, so if we do have any light showers, it is pretty good for that. I really like the color. It fits great for fall outfits and tones and it is light enough to wear in this 60 to 50 degree weather. I really, really like this pouch that's in the front. It's got Velcro and zip protection for the pouch, and then there are these two little shoelace string laces that you can tie the bottom of it in case you want to insulate a little bit more or protect your shirt or something like that from wind or water or whatever. Now the majority of my things that I've showcased in this are tops and mid layers. Like I said earlier, that's pretty much the best kind of protection that I'm gonna be getting in this season in Arizona. For the most part, I don't really have to worry about my legs getting cold, so I don't have too many like flannel lined pants or fleece lined pants or things like that. I will say that things like the Escobar sweatpants and the Nike Lab sweatpants are really good options in the fall as well. I don't have any in this video, but those are things that I think are really comfortable and perfect for the fall. But the pants that I do have are these Lululemon Lab pants that are a straight fit with slight articulation. The material on the outside is sort of like neoprene and stretchy, and these pants are super, super comfortable, and they are actually lined with a light fleece for comfort and also warmth. So if I do need to bust these out, it would probably be on a hike. I would probably wear these pants with the anorak and possibly even like a long sleeve or turtleneck underneath if I need more insulation. So those are a few of my fall essentials. These aren't even close 
close to the amount of pieces that I could have included in this video. For example, I have a lot more different light jackets that are in a variety of silhouettes. So just depending on your outfit and what kind of colors and textures you want to coordinate, I think that things like flannels, anoraks, military type things, earth tones, stuff like that looks pretty good in the fall. I don't necessarily need too much protection from snow or water, so I'm not busting out a lot of hard shells or anything like that. Pretty much just windbreakers, light jackets, flannels, fleece, vests, gillettes, things like that. I would love to know what your guys' fall essentials are. Comment down below what your favorite pieces are to wear during this season. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos. Subscribe for more. Until next time, stay Gucci guys.